Hi everybody, on this episode, I'm gonna show you how to assemble a four shelf storage rack from Sam's Club. I'm Michael, and this is Ultimate Tech Hub. All right, let's get started. So I purchased both these racks for $149.99. And I ended up buying a third one because the back wall of my garage was long enough to support three. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Now I know you're wondering why am I doing a, a video on how to assemble um, a rack system. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we moved into a new house and we have this new big garage and we need a storage. And I haven't done a video in a while because I've been busy moving so I figured I would make a video and and put it up for you guys to watch for subscribers and I hope you appreciate it and it was a lot of fun and as you can see it's packaged nicely not a whole lot of packing material there's a little bit of styrofoam in there otherwise it's pretty easy to get out of the box okay we have our two upright frames and we have our eight cross beams We have our 32 pins and our 16 channel beams. Let's go ahead and start with figure one. We're going to take the upright frames and we're going to need the cross beams, two of those. And we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. That's what the instructions say. Now all you do is put these in the notch and slide them in. Make sure they're secure. See how it goes in there, all the way. Yeah, I need help from my son to move this up. High five. First we use the rubber mount just to make sure it is secure. It says that in the instructions. And now we're going to start with the cross beams going all the way up. Now I place these cross beams equally spaced. You can do them however you want, whatever your needs are. Uh, for me, I just need an equal space for uh, bins and boxes. Once again, make sure it goes in the notch and seats all the way down. And if you're liking these videos, make sure you hit subscribe for me. It really helps out. And here's the close-up of that notch and how, those, how it kind of seats down in the bottom there. And once you get this all assembled, I'm going to go back with a rubber mallet and make sure these are all seated down. Oh. <laughs> Just a few taps on each one. You can kind of see the cross beams go down a little further. Okay, next are the channel beams. Each shelf gets four channel beams. Each channel beam gets two pins, one in the front and one in the back. These pins are not secured by any kind of bolt or uh, anything like that. Or it's just gravity. So you're going to push the pin through the top of the cross beam into the channel beam and out the bottom. It's a very simple system. At first I was kind of concerned that these pins are not secure with anything else just by gravity, but once you get this put together you realize the weight of this rack is not going to go anywhere, so it's pretty effective. As you can see this assembles very quickly.
Here's the close-up of the pin going into the top and through the bottom. Now the hardest part of this one was doing this top rack and putting those pins in the, in the uh, channel beams because I couldn't see what I was doing. I'm still too short for that as you can see so just, you could probably get a step ladder to see what you're doing. But for the most part I used to use my uh, sense of feel you just gotta feel around until the pin drops through. And we're all done. Now we just place the racks on top of the shelves. These aren't secured with anything. They just kind of go down to the groove of the shelf. But they're pretty heavy duty. They're not going to go anywhere. Especially once you get boxes and bins and stuff on top of it. And that's it. Okay, we're all done here assembling. And I got a few thoughts I want to share with you about this product. Number one. It's very easy to put together. It took about 25 minutes and I did three racks and each rack it got a little bit easier. Probably the third rack it took 20 minutes. Second thing I want to share with you is it's very durable. This, the channel beams, the cross beams, the upright beams are all made the same. Very durable. Not going to go anywhere. I'm shaking it. It's not going to move. And third of all, it just looks good. Uh, the gray, this, this gray looks really good in my garage. Looks good in most garages. So I think if you're looking for storage and you have $149, this is probably a pretty good deal for you. It looks good, it's solid, and it's functional. I want to thank you guys for being a part of the Ultimate Tech Hub. And I want to say thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free. And share this video with anybody. And hit the bell icon for me if you want to get notified of future reviews and tech videos. Thanks for watching. Scene one, Apple, take one. Hi guys, this is Mike from Ultimate Tech Hub. And today, we're gonna install this Members Mark Industrial Heavy Duty Force Shelf Storage System rack. <laughs> Scene one, Apple, take two. Hi guys, this is Michael from Ultimate Tech Hub. And today, we're gonna install a Force Shelf Storage System from Sam's Club. It's Members Mark Industrial Heavy Force Shelf Storage System. Ha 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 ha!